All right, ready, ready? I thought I would do a, another update video. Um, I'm gonna do an update on a few of the new items I've gotten uh, that I've been carrying recently. Plus, I wanted to do a review once again on another Duluth item. Um, it's not the shirt. Um, I did a review on these shirts. I don't know if I've worn this one yet, but uh, awesome. <clears throat> Go back and watch the reviews on the shirts gusset in the armpit that's all i have to say you move around these have a little loop for your glasses so you can hook them in there and they don't fall out again another another huge uh plus because uh, i'm constantly going back and forth between my sunglasses and my my glasses because i'm farsighted so if i'm outside i'm finding my glasses uh, sunglasses but as soon as i come inside i gotta do stuff close up i gotta put my glasses on because i can't see for crap up close so anyway, uh, that little loop on these shirts are just ingenious. Uh, before I get to the pants, these are a new pair. These are their jeans. They're called their ballroom jeans. Um, they're in a relaxed fit with some stretch to them. Not a huge amount of stretch, just enough. And I got these yesterday, and I'm wearing them today. And I have to tell you, once again, they knocked it out of the park. Um, everything I've gotten from Duluth has been amazing. Um, wish I'd found them years ago. Uh, I, I've said this time and time again. If you're a bigger guy who's also athletic, um, not just a dude with a big beer gut and a skinny fat body, if, but if you actually have, you know, big shoulders, big back, big legs, you know, big arms. You need clothes that are uniformly big, not just what typical um, clothing manufacturers do for the, as they leave the arm size and the shoulder size and chest size the same, and they just add more material in the length to make up for a guy's beer gut, which, you know, I have in the past had a big gut, um, but I've gotten rid of that. But I'm also big, 5'10", about 265 right now, and I'm feeling good probably sitting at around 17% body fat, which for me is awesome. Anything under 20%, in my opinion, is good. I, I'm not looking to get down to like 10% or anything. It's just ridiculous for me, in my opinion. I just want to be able to see my abs um, and not look fat, basically. So yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. So 265 is about as low as I'm comfortable getting. Um, so with that, I wear uh, 2XL shirts, and they fit real well. Um, being 5'10", I do find them to be a little long, but I typically tuck my shirts in anyway. And one of the other uh, pluses about these shirts is they do add an extra button at the bottom. So when they are tucked in, they don't kind of do that open of the tail if you're getting up and out. So that's awesome. And in pants, I wear a size 40-30. Like I said, I'm not very tall, I'm only 5'10", and um, it's not so much for the waist, it's for the leg size. So um, the waist on my pants are typically a little loose, um, but again, if I go with like an actual waist size, um, they're too tight to the, to the thigh, so I have to go with kind of a bigger size in the waist. Um, and I also go with the relaxed fit in any, I don't go with straight leg, I always go relaxed uh, fit which gives a little more room in the legs. But anyway, let me get to these. Again, these are called the ballroom. Let me stand up here. So let me see if I can turn this down a little bit. So there we go. So um, again, has the gusset in the crotch. The stitching on the side is a three stitch, which is awesome. Um, the, I'm not gonna open my pants, but the pockets, actually you can see, this is their fire hose material. So super heavy duty um, pockets. They're not gonna rip, but it's a, th it's a thinner material. It's very significant, but it's not bulky. The inside of the waistband is also, they also use that material. And if I can throw my leg up here, you can see the, the, um, Cuff is also cuffed in that, and it's got a double stitch at the bottom um, to protect it from, you know, wearing on the ground. So, plenty of room through the legs. Like I said, lots of stretch. Um, pockets are cool. It has the 
Not only does it have the loop in the back, but they throw the extra two loops on the side, which is awesome so that they don't kind of like bunch up when you put a belt on. Um, so I have these. They were for Father's Day right now. I think they have them discounted. And I picked up, now it's off season, but I got I picked up a pair of these that are lined. I don't know quite, I can't remember what the material is that lines them, but it makes them a very, I mean, they're a heavy pant, but, um, and I only paid like, I think less than 20 bucks for them. They might still have them, um, but they will definitely be a motorcycle pant in the winter. And if it's super cold, like working outside on my tractor or whatever, I'll be wearing those. But they're super heavy, but very comfortable. I put them on last night. Whatever the material they line with is a very soft material. It slides, it not, doesn't feel bulky, and it does have the stretch material in the uh, denim. Uh, so um, you don't really notice you, when you pick them up. They feel very heavy, um, but then when you put them on, you don't really notice it. And the and the denim they use, this is a very heavyweight denim. It's not like your typical Levi's jeans that they've become recently. I remember back in the day, you could buy like the 501s. You know, it was a pretty th thick denim, um, and it took a while for them to break in. These are a thick denim, and but these come in a, they're already, um, uh, tumbled like they washed them and uh, prepared them so they're they're not these are the indigo so they're not just completely all dark right now they you can see they have you can't really tell in the video but you can see where they've been washed and distressed a bit so that they don't look completely brand new uh, you can get them um, in just the dark indigo that's not pre-washed I think that's what they call pre-washed so um, again I definitely cannot say enough about everything I've bought from Duluth so far. Um, I have been buying gifts for other people since every day I check and they do, um, they're constantly updating their um, their clearance section. And oftentimes you can find stuff like these shirts. I mean, this, you're wearing the stuff now, but yet they're on clearance. And another great thing about these shirts is you can also buy the identical shirt in a long sleeve version. So um, say you're out working, so outside is hot, but you just want to keep that sun off of you. You can buy these same really lightweight shirts, but in a long sleeve version as well. And they're on clearance right now as well. So yeah, I have a few more items coming um, that I can't wait to try out. I've actually bought a few items from, from their, if you go to their website, they sell Best Made. Um, I think they bought that company. High end, very, very high end stuff like way up there but you can find some deals every once in a while but they have a, a subsidiary company called 40 grit which um it's more like the I've, if i were to describe it it's a step down from duluth um quality but still higher quality than most of the stuff that you would find so i i, I bought a couple shirts on there for like 10 bucks a couple flannels and it's not a super heavy flannel but it's a it's a it fits well. It has that same Duluth style to it, um, but not nearly as, not the same attention to detail that you get from the typical Duluth stuff. Um, so I liked it though. I liked the, the patterns and stuff are very lightweight. And then I, I bought a pair of their a 40 grit shorts that came yesterday. And they're, you know, they're just a flat front, but high quality, really nice, fit well. Very happy with them, and they were super cheap. I think I played like 15 bucks a pair for them. So definitely loving my Duluth stuff um, as of late. Um, but enough about Duluth. I think I've, if I haven't <laughs> driven it home, that you need to buy Duluth if you're um, you're active and you're on the bigger side. But they do sell a slim fit. You know, I do notice that most of the clothes that I buy, you can also buy them in a, a slim fit. So if you're a slimmer person, um, I'm sure they have clothes for you as well. I'm just, I'm not a slim person, so that doesn't interest me. But anyway, to finish up my video today, I also wanted to review a few items that I'd purchased uh, recently and hadn't had a chance to actually try out, but that gave you my initial impressions. The first is the Hamilton um, Khaki Field Watch, and I have been wearing it nonstop all week. 
and I gotta tell you, I am super impressed with it. Can't even tell it's on my arm. I like it because it doesn't it doesn't stick out like I love. I got a couple diving watches. I got my G-Shock uh, um, Rangeman that I wear all the time. But because it's so big, I kept constantly catching it on stuff, and it it's just a huge focus too. Like when I'm wearing that watch. Your eye is immediately drawn to it, and um, which is fine, but at times I, I want something that's a little more reserved like this. You're not really going to notice it as much, and it's so flat, it's not going to catch on jackets and like doorways and stuff. But uh, it's a mechanical one, so you do have to wind it. I've got in the habit each morning when I wake up, when I'm laying there, kind of collecting my thoughts, getting ready to start my day. I'll just sit and just give it a couple good winds. It does have a 80 hour reserve. If you do forget a day or so, it will keep on ticking. Um, and I like that it's a being mechanical that has that sweeping second instead of that quartz going on. You can't hear it. So it's very nice. And one of the huge reasons I got it, because uh, I mentioned this in my last video about this watch, was that uh, I bought my Range Man. Uh, my G-Shock, one, because it looked awesome, and secondly, because it did have the digital uh, face in it. So you can illuminate it by pushing a button, but something about that quartz face when it lights up at night, and being that I can't see it all close up without my glasses on, I couldn't read the numbers at all. Like, it was just a big old blur. So this, um, it does illuminate, obviously, at night, and uh, I can tell the time without my glasses on with this, so that's awesome, because I'm constantly... Waking up in the middle of the night, I mean, not constantly, I, I sleep really well, but you know, when you wake up at like three or four and you're like, Whoa, it could be 12 o'clock, it could be four o'clock. I, I really, you, you really can't tell time or judge time once you've been sleeping. So just like to look down real quick and tell that I still have whatever amount of time to sleep or, or if it's time to get up. Anyway, awesome. Um, can't say enough about it. Great watch. Now I want to talk about my, my, this is the minimalist carry that I have when I'm carrying today. This is the bare minimum. So, uh, for a knife, if you want to call it, I carry my TPT slides, just a little titanium box, uh, cut opener, you know? Um, so I put that in my fifth pocket right beside my Prometheus, um, um, called QR quick release but I put the, the state stainless steel clip on it so these go in my fifth pocket next to each other like so and then I put my lighter my lighter of choice is my brass raw brass with the torch insert I do have a copper one but I always seem to always go back to the I like the titanium and the uh, brass and then my most recent acquisition to go with it is always carry a pen and I've been carrying the uh, let me turn this up so you're not just looking at the bottom of my beard um, I bought a couple of these uh, tactile turn uh, bold action pens I got one this one's in bronze which is I had to look that up I always thought it was copper and brass mixed together but it's actually um, copper and tin mixed together to give it this look um, but I have it has really started to patina really nicely as you can see when i first got it, it had that really glossy gold look to it which i hate but i knew it would just be a matter of time with the oils on my hands and stuff so i actually clipped this in my pocket left pocket i put it in my pocket clip it to the outside corner and that clip is very uh that's a very strong stainless steel clip it's not going anywhere so it's clipped to my pocket and then the obviously the lighter is down in the pocket and then the lighter kind of sits like this it kind of it just kind of sits inside this uh handkerchief and i find myself putting my hand in my pocket all the time and fidgeting with it uh, it's just one of those little things everybody needs something to fidget with during the day and i have caught myself doing this playing with this bolt action and as you do know i i if you watch the video, I have a copper in this version, and it's really darkened up, super dark already. So those are my four go-tos, bare minimum, and then obviously my Mighty Hank 
I got three of these and these are the, your traditional handkerchief colors. This one's in black, I got a blue and then I got a red. And this is just a typical cotton on the back outside and then it has the microfiber for cleaning your glasses or your phone off or your computer screen, whatever. And then you can flip it over to like, you know, you got allergies or whatever. Like I, I seem to, you know, get reoccurring allergies and wipe your eyes off and then flip it to the other side and wipe your glasses off. So yeah, so that's my minimalist carry. So that's it. That's all I got to say today. It's a 15 minutes. Uh, I guess that's about par for the course. I have a couple um, handmade cuffs. Like this little guy right here, I made this a few years ago for me and my old lady. And on the inside is stamped the coordinates to a uh, cabin we have on a lake up in Maine. But it's just a little dinky and small. So there's a company in Pittsburgh called uh, Studebaker, whatever. Um, they make handmade jewelry. They, you know, forge it themselves. Um, and uh, I have a couple... Uh, copper and brass cuffs coming and I had them customize them with our co the coordinates on the inside of those plus they are custom made I got these big honking it's my wrists are like eight and a half around so it's really hard to find anything to fit around so they made it special to the size of my wrists which is awesome they're a very great company very good uh, communication uh were able to work with me in any way they usually do like a six character limit on the cuffs but i uh, paid a little extra and they were they put the entire coordinates um inside the cuff you just obviously had to buy one that's wide enough to get two two uh rows on it but i'm really excited to see that it's supposed to come in today um but yeah that's my story i got a few more a few other things coming in i hinted about a new huge folder i got coming in from australia throw another shrimp on the bobby mate that's my that's the good as it gets um so i'm really excited about that it's probably gonna take like a month for that to get here though because you know it's coming from australia to here in the united states so anyway thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time later